All right, so start right out the bat. We get the fling over the fence. If you can get a flip, just kind of propels you past. Too crazy. This one is just a, a zoop boost. And then alternatively, you can do a boost cancel. And then if either of those fails, you just pull the log basically or do whatever you want. This is just one of those zoop boost cancels. You just cancel the person up top and then zoop to them as they are kind of like jumping up. This one's going to be one of the, the wall cling boost cancels, whatever you want to call them. Except for this one, I don't cling to the wall. Oh yeah, you can cling to the wall and it helps, or you can just go straight off the ground. Basically, we're canceling so we can get the double jump. This is just a fling from just a regular partner swing, or a regular swing. So while he's flipping, I'm zooping while he's in a forward flip position. And you could probably fling on that uh, flip, but we just have done it here to show. That one's a bit more dangerous because you got to make that gap, so if you don't make it, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, so just, we don't start checkpoint. really do that in runs, but it's whatever. The well uh, boost there was just um, to show the input display. I think that was covered in this guy in Ray's tutorial. And there's more flings and stuff you can do in Chapter 1. Like anywhere you get a flip, you could have a fling. It's just uh, another boost where I try to jump and get him up at top. And then what we found to be a little bit easier than the boost is just the, the cancel like that. Yeah. Here we're going to use a, a, it's a modified partner swing where you, one Yarny holds onto the other Yarny and adds like the length of the yarn between them. And then we're going to fling off of that, like mega swing, I guess if you call it. Um, where you end up kind of depends on just how lucky you get with the fling, but you can usually get over the steam which is what we we're trying to aim for. So there's a million different ways to do this one. I think this is a fling version. And then you just do the rest of the puzzle normally. There's also, you can just do a, a boost, which is a little bit difficult. The left Yarny goes right, and the right Yarny boosts them up. And then the rest of the puzzle is normal. And then what we've kind of modified is just doing a, a bunch of boost cancels. You can either do one, and then do the rest of the puzzle normally. Or I think the next one is we'll do three boosts. And you just gotta cancel at the right time. You get a lot of leeway on this one, so it's not too bad. And often, the person that cancels, if you jump and move into the direction that you want to go, um, it'll help like preserve the, the zooping Yarny's momentum. Yeah. This is a little swag strat. You can kind of use the skateboard to propel you up, but it, meh. it definitely looks cool, but you can get away without doing it. This is just a, a boost cancel into a boost. This is a slightly different way of doing that puzzle. And here we'll do the, the mega partner swing into a fling combo. And then this one's you know, hit or miss with where you end up. So if you get lucky, you can go all the way up top and just run over the, the netting. But if you fall down or you have to do the puzzle normally, you can do a, a boost cancel like that and just go straight up to the netting without having to swing. Landing on the netting is a little bit safer than just landing up on top of the spool. And these are just boost cancels to gain some height. And I, I think we get lucky and get a pretty decent fling here. But yeah, we, I think... That's don't a pretty, often get that yeah. fling. It's a pretty far one, but you can often try and catch one of the knots if you don't make it quite over. So these boost cancels, you can go left to right is the safer method, but it's a little bit harder to get on top. Um, going right to left, you seem to put a yarny up top a lot easier, but you kind of tangle your yarn, and it can prevent you from going to the exit. So You will have to just restart checkpoint if... Yeah. Who are unlucky enough. And it is really not too much time just to do that puzzle normally, so yeah. we're still on the fence about whether to use that in runs or not. 
So this is the old Mega's partner swing into a fling. Just trying to get over the crane there. It wasn't a great one. No. Probably ended up not saving any time just because you have a huge amount of air time. This is what, like, optimally, if, if you get really lucky, you can just skip the next puzzle once you get inside. Um, and that puzzle will cover, I think, the next one. But that's... We've gotten that one time, so... Yeah. That's kind of what you're shooting for. So this one, you can just use the vent to get up on the right side and then do a boost cancel. Whee! And then you just swing over and zoop. Or you can do a double boost cancel. And then you kind of cut out some of that uh, downtime from the collapse. So you use the wall cling there to kind of help with timing. And it doesn't make it as rough, but it's still slightly precise, I guess. The wall cling, while it does add some height, um, it's we use it a lot as a timing mechanism. Yeah. That's just the boost cancel up on the net and then just to zoop over. It's slightly quicker than just using the net to crawl around and you don't... I mean, yeah, I guess you still have the chance to hit the flames, but... This one is... is luck. <laughs> yeah, they, as far as I know, that one's just luck. If you come out at the right time, you can make it to that top platform. Hey, but it is possible. This one's just a, a regular partner swing into a nice fling. And then we use a boost cancel to get up on this cliff. And there's, you know, multiple ways to do this whole puzzle too. If you split up like that with a good fling, then you can do one thing. If you're both at the same point, you might as well just do the puzzle normally. Mm -hmm. The fling will determine what, what you have to do at that point. So inside the barn here, we are going to do another boost cancel instead of going up and around and stuff. And this just gets us both on top of the tables pretty quick. It is possible to do infinite wall jumps out of there, but it does take more time. And if you're playing on console, you can't even do that, so... Yeah. It's good to kind of know the ways to get around infinite wall jumps. True. Uh, I think this one's a mega partner swing mm -hmm. into a fling. Got lucky. It, it takes... A long time to set up. This is a, a decent fling, so I think it made it worth it, but usually we don't have that good of a result. So if you can play around with it and get pretty consistent, even get further, pretty run dependent. it's not bad. Here's just a little boost cancel and a zoop. This one's also going to be a boost cancel, but timing it after the wall jump. And then you have the Pinkish Yarny pulling up, and then they can zoop once they pull all the way up to the... You can zoop. You will get caught. You can still get out the exit, but... Right, this is can skip. Yeah, this is a zoop. Once you get kind of like past the can, it is very finicky, so we don't really recommend it, but it can be done. It can be done. If There's probably a better setup for it, but as of now, it's kind of hit or miss. This part we just do separately. It's a timing situation. You want to make sure the turkey is looking to the left when you when you dupe them. And the risk on that one probably doesn't outweigh the reward. Probably so not. Just something to do. This puzzle, I think we only show one way, but there's a, a bunch of ways you can use boost cancels to kind of make your way around. Um, it's kind of whatever is feels most comfortable. Yeah. Or you can just do the puzzle normally, it's no big deal. But there are other ways to get up and get around. And then here's just a slightly different way to do the boost cancel up top. Instead of grabbing the knot, we just cancel straight onto the log. And then we'll have a, a mega partner swing into another fling. I think you can make it all the way across with just a mega partner swing, but yeah. the timing's got to be pretty good. And the fling's pretty iffy too, so... Just keep that in mind. If you miss it, you can that either... one's a pretty average one. There. Yeah, you can either restart the checkpoint or just do something else. Go all the way back. That was just a a fling off a regular swing. It'll just be a, a mega partner swing with no fling. This one's in my mind just kind of free to try. If you don't, oh, we did get a fling. Never mind. We did. If you uh, if you don't get it, then no big deal. You're just back where you should be. So this is like a huge fling that we've rarely gotten, but you can skip all the way to this part if 
like you um, kind of line it up correctly. This is usually what you'll, or at least what we do. Um, you can fling into the hole, or you can just kind of like partner swing over and then just drop down normally. And then once you're inside the shed, you can use uh, the boost cancels to get up the right side. This, the timing on that one's kind of hard, but I think if you get it first try, it, it could save a little bit of time. But the regular puzzle is pretty quick on that one, too. Oh, chapter 5. So forklift skip is, um, it takes a while to set up, but if you can get over, I guess it's worth it. This one's a more of a typical forklift skip, what you'll see. But yeah. the, the flame patterns get messed up when you do that, so usually we'll just die immediately, and then that'll reset the patterns. Because otherwise you have to wait for the flames to go right and then go back left. Um, you can get lucky, and this is, I think, uh, a lucky one where you can fling over pretty much all the flames to start with. And then you can just keep on going, but... It's very lucky, yeah. Some more boost cancels. Get you around. This could help in console because there's a way to do a checkpoint restart, but with console, it's pretty slow. Um, and again, there's multiple ways to do most of these puzzles anyway with some combination of zoops or boosts or cancels or flings. So that's just the boost cancel as an alternative to the big swing that we usually use. Both have their pros and cons. That one seems to be able to, you can zoop back into each other a little bit safer at the end, whereas the, the long swing is more, more dangerous. This is a, another fun but risky one here. Yeah, so you, if you time it correctly, you can just boost cancel up top. There's, you can go on the right side and boost cancel if you get the timing correctly. And then if you do do a boost cancel and the person up top falls off, um, as long as they fall off on the right side, then you can just pull each other up. So. That is this here. Like, even the backup isn't too bad on this one, mm -mm. as opposed to doing the actual puzzle. This but, is a partner swing. Yeah, this is just a mega partner swing where you use the momentum to get you across the very last platform and then you can zoop across. A little bit more about timing. You can partner fling across that, but it's not worth it, unfortunately. Unless you just get a really good fling, so. Into the box. This is just box skip with the input display. It's just the timing thing. You just gotta catch that right side of the box and it'll propel you. So this one, you can um, zoop boost and grab the yarn or the knot up there, but you can also land on that top right and just jump up. If you slide down against the steam, it won't like shoot you off. It's so, not necessary to press down the button. But you can grab the knot like that, but that one's kind of hard to do. Mm -hmm. so I think we just start off with the boost cancel over the stick. Yep. It mm -hmm. can give you some weird string action, so if you clip through the ledge a little bit, it could mess with uh, future puzzles. Avoid that by trying to stay left. It's just a different way to get up top, but once you do, you can use a boost cancel to just bypass that whole kind of lever mechanism. And zoop back up and we're back together. This is just to show the log roll skip with input display and kind of like how we're merging and unmerging. It's, it's just about timing. And you can do this solo too. It's not a co-op only strat, but it is a little bit tougher on solo. Unless you're not good at cooperating. This is just a cancel, waiting for him to get in that circle. Cancel on our way. Alright, so there's multiple different ways to do this puzzle. Um, I think this one is just going to be a boost cancel, and then we're going to have another boost cancel once Red Yarny gets over. And then... Or boost. just a boost, I guess, yeah, at that point. Yeah, that's just a little boost. Whatever you want to call them. It is a slope, though, so it is a little bit trickier. You can also use the knot to pull down the log and kind of have both yarnies up there. And then one will swing over and then it's just the same thing. I think we use an infinite wall jump to show that you can do this on PC in a slightly different way. But if you're on console, you'll have to do the boost over that webbing. Skip that part. So here's just going to be a mega partner swing and then a lucky fling. It's pretty uh, hit or miss as to where you end up if you do actually hit the fling. So we've landed right there before. We've landed where we'll land, land here. We've landed further to the right. So 
this one see, does seem to be one of the more uh, chancy ones. Chancy as in, like, you don't know where we're going to end up, but yeah. there's no real risks to it, I don't think. That's um, true, yeah, yeah. At least we haven't tangled quite as much, I don't think, trying it, so... There's a small potential time loss. Yeah, you'll have to figure it out. Yeah, that's just a, a, a big swing and then a big fling. And there's always more places to swing, more places to fling, oh, yeah. so... Yeah, you're just making sure to zoop once Yarny, in, the, in that case, the red Yarny was facing you. There's going to be a boost cancel, you use the wall jumps, and then another boost cancel to get up top. I mean, you can infinite wall jump if you're on PC on top, but the boost cancel is, I think, quicker. First try, yeah. Pretty easy, as far as boost cancels go. This one is a nice big swing to get over up top, and then you zoop up. I think this was just to show it with input display. I think this might have been covered in the previous tutorial. And this one's just going to be the previous boost up, and then another boost cancel to get on the left side. And that's about it. So, uh, yeah. Good luck with uh, finding new skips and. Yeah, these are just some of the tools and some of the things that we have found. Had fun finding them, and thank you.